What is going on, guys? Rudolinol here, and it is 6 o'clock at night. What is it? What is it today? It is November 30th, 2011, and holy crap, November is almost over. In fact, it practically is over. Wow. It's been a good month, I gotta say. Like, I've been doing a lot of stuff. As you guys can tell, there hasn't really been too many updates, because I've been just been full of... I've been chock full of all these crazy stuff that I have to do. And uh, next we're going to move into the holiday month, the holiday season. And 2000, uh, 2011 is eventually going to come to an end. Wow. Man, it, it feels like this year has just sort of like breezed by. And I've been doing a lot of work with Null Show. Like, I started this website this year, and just like I've been trying to like showcase what I've been doing this year. And looking back, it's almost... It's, it's kind of cool. <laughs> just being able to look back and see everything that I've done over the over the last year, and even then, there's still a lot of stuff to come, and I haven't actually posted everything that I've done. And that makes me feel sort of crappy. <laughs> like, <clears throat> it is incredibly embarrassing when I tell you guys I'm going to do something, and then proceed to not do it. I almost feel like, I, I feel bad. And the thing is, I do really want to put in the effort to get things done for you guys, and I feel absolutely terrible, because I'm like, I'm telling the world, yes, I'm going to get this done, I'm going to do this, I'm going to upload uh, Hamlet up onto, uh, up onto Null Show, I'm going to write the post for it, I'm going to make it so you can download all the programs, because the download section is down right now. I'm going to work on a PHP script that will modify the uh, that will modify the code section of the page, just like the jQuery slide down bar works for the navigation on the left-hand side. I'm going to bring you a new layout for Null Show, so it's not as, so it's not as uh, dynamic in each browser, because Internet Explorer sucks sucks. Uh, yeah, it's just like, I, I feel almost a little bit scatterbrained, like, ugh. <laughs> but, boom. <laughs> That's all. Uh, let's, let's talk code. Let's talk about what, what you're watching right now. This video is what I was telling you about in the last code commentary. This is, uh, some Python footage, and I, I wrote this script in my, uh, in my, in my digital graphic design class, like I was telling you. I wrote this actually in school. So there are a couple of moments in the, or, wow, there are a couple moments in this video where you're actually going to see me go into Photoshop, do a little image editing, and then just show my teacher. So if there's some, like, idle screen for a few seconds, don't worry about it. It's just me showing my teacher. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah. Other than that, this Python code is, uh, this is something I'd like to post up on Nullshell. I really need to post out almost everything that I'm doing and writing these days. But, <laughs> I need, I need to get on that. Holy, holy crap. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm losing my thought here. I'm losing my thought. No, 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 no. Python, this code that you're watching right now, I wrote this, uh for trying to organize some uh, network shares. Like, I had found all these network shares with uh, Nursoft.net's tool, uh, the Net Resource Viewer, Net Rest View, or whatever, whatever they call it. And uh, since the thing is with that, when you're, when you're scanning for, like, Net Shares, it's kind of hard to do so because if you're in an infrastructure where there's tons of computers, uh, you don't know which of those computers is going to be on or off. And the thing is, like... Uh, sorry, I'm clearing my throat here. You don't know if the computer is going to be on or off, and obviously if the computer is off, you're not going to get, you're not going to find that net share. So, the thing is, you, you would, you would run the program at different times, and then you would get different information. The thing is, you'll eventually get the same information. So, you can't just throw it all into one big file, you have to sort of sort, th you have to kind of sort through the file, and see what net, net shares you've seen, which ones you haven't, and all that. So, that's what I wrote this Python script for. It was really, it, it felt kind of good, it felt good to be actually playing with Python, because I haven't done that in so long. And, uh, yeah, that was all it was. The way it works is that uh, it you, it imports the OS module. Uh, that's good, so I can use like uh, I can use file manipulations and stuff. I think yeah, the open function is built into this, that's built into Python. The open function is what lets you actually open a file and read through it. But the OS is what lets you like test for uh, path directories and stuff. So you because you see some work on my USB drive here. So I want to make sure the path exists before I actually open all the files in there. So yeah, we uh, we use the directory, uh, the OS module to test if the path uh, test if the path exists. Sorry about these uh, the speech problems. And then it's going to go into that path. It's going to display all the contents of it, and it's going to look for the ones that are actual HTML files. That's why you, I think I do a little bit of an if statement there. I do like if if the file ends with. .html. If it's an HTML file, then uh, go ahead and just open and save that. 
create that into an array or something, it loops through every single one of them, and then it opens them up. And then when you've opened that file up, you're going to loop through that HTML file, and uh, it's going to be, it's, it's in a table, I think it was. It's in a, it's in a table, and there are each, each net share is in a table row, so it grabs that part out, and it adds it to an array of the things that it's found. If it hasn't already found that line, then, then it'll add it to it. If it has found the line, it'll ignore it. Because we don't need to, we don't need to like record the things we've we've already seen. That's just stupid. <laughs> so yeah, that's how the logic works in this. Uh, and I think I did I comment through it. I might have. I, I don't remember too much of what I was writing in this. This was kind of a little bit ago, and that's the thing. I, I do feel bad that some of the work that I'm sending you guys is a little bit delayed. But uh, all right, all right. <laughs> enough dead air. Enough awkward silence. Let's move on to the next topic. Um, this video, I don't know how it's, I don't know how well this video will come out, because I'm actually trying the, I'm trying to, uh, to, like, render, I don't know if render is the correct word for it, but I'm trying to export this video by using OpenShot, which is a new video editor for Ubuntu and Linux and distributions like that. I don't know if it's cross-platform or not. I don't know too much about the, I don't know too much about the program yet, but it was, it was like, it was one of the big highlights on the Ubuntu Software Center, so I'm like, okay, yeah, totally, I'll try this software, and then like, that's the fun of Linux, is that you can try different things, you can try new things without having to have to like, uh, use a crazy machine and stuff. But it, it feels good, so I'm, I'm playing with this new program, hopefully it'll, it will take less time to render and everything than like Caden Live did, it won't be as slow, and I don't know, yeah, yeah, but, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that last line, <laughs> forgive that, don't even, don't even mention it, just forget I said that. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon my cough, guys. But, yeah, that's about it. Um, there's Python code. There is, uh, this new, this new OpenShot video. OpenShot video editor. <clears throat> and right now, that's all. <laughs> uh, the last, the last night, I actually did have some free time, because we had a long weekend for, uh, Thanksgiving and all that. Uh, at the last day of my, my break, I started pumping out some Linux distributions. I... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I started... <clears throat> wow, that's embarrassing. Holy crap. <laughs> I, uh, I tried to make some uh, live CDs for random Linux distributions. So, uh, Linux Mint 12, codenamed Lisa, just came out very recently. And that's wicked cool. Uh, I'm not a big... Like, I'd never played with any other uh, Linux distribution other than Ubuntu. So being able to do this was tons of fun. All I did was uh, I would download the ISO, I would try it in a virtual machine, and then I would just create a live CD whether I liked it or not, because I want to have my own little collection of Linux distributions and Linux live CDs. So I've got uh, Linux Mint 12, codenamed Lisa, uh, FreeBSD 8.2. I've never, ever played anything, like, played with FreeBSD whatsoever, so I feel like that's going to be wicked cool. Uh, OpenSUSE 12.1 running GNOME. OpenSUSE, oh, holy crap, OpenSUSE, <laughs> uh, I haven't played with that one too much either, I just booted into it, and I thought it looked pretty, and then proceeded to go to the next Linux distribution, because I felt like I was kind of short on time, so I was just sort of, I was trying to get the ISO, burn it to a disk, and then move on to the next one, but yeah, I've got, uh, Linux Mint, FreeBSD, OpenSUSE, I tried Fedora 16, I tried Arch Linux, uh, I've got Ubuntu 11.10 ready to rock, uh, and, wow, uh, that's all I see, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I didn't do as much as I thought, but, but in all honesty, it was tons of fun. Like, I could just try all these new Linux distributions, see what I liked, see what, see what each distribution did, see what ones didn't do, and, uh, like, looking at GNOME 3 and Unity and different desktop environments. Uh, I feel like I should learn a little bit more about FreeBSD, just because it's, it's, like, it's a cool operating system. I don't know if it's all command line interface, but for my, what, uh, what for my... What I had ran from the installer... There we go, I think I finally got that sentence out. What what from I had ran... Holy crap, I'm not even going to try and attempt that. <laughs> when I ran the installer, it was all command line. It was all text-based, and I don't know if anything else is like that. But, uh... Oh, goodness! Code commentary is almost over. <laughs> oh, wow. I actually talked more than I thought I would in this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know I'm over my time limit now. You're probably watching a bla black screen and blank screen, whatever. But, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, yeah. It'd be cool if you could give me a like, maybe a comment, maybe a favorite, maybe subscribe. I don't know. Do what you do, people. Have a great day.